just not wearing glasses. These things. Always such a pain. Oh my god. Getting at the heavy artillery for this one. Hey, Lenarth, how are you this morning? Yeah, okay, the heavy artillery for this one. God. If it wasn't the worst, I would invest in contacts, but I really don't like contacts. <laughs> Too chill? Why would you say that? Is it cold over there right now? One lens down. Oh, you're not used anymore to not having to do anything to do. <laughs> yeah, I feel. I get really restless when I don't have anything to do. I feel like I'm wasting my time or something. To other people, when they ask me what I've been doing, spending my free time on, I always try to hit these things to pop off and when I don't it feels embarrassing but then they're like oh wow you've been keeping busy and I'm like not really I just happen to have a lot of hobbies well I try to get into a lot of hobbies anyway Tuba Plus, come on. There we go. My face was missing. Just chatting. Um, just gonna keep this here. While I finish cleaning up the la my other eyeglass lens. Hey, Corey. Welcome to the stream. How are you this morning? Glad you can make it. Just finishing my eyeglasses really quick, and they I'm not sure if you wear glasses, but they can be a point of OCD sometimes with regard to keeping them clean. Other than that, I got everything else set up for a stream today. Should probably get some reference material here too of my today's subject matter and I'll also probably load up my program here uh-oh really paint cool that's dumb all right, we'll have to look for it the hard way. Or the uh, hard way, since apparently I can't just go in here 
and expect it to pop up in the applications list like a normal program. Oh, I'm dumb. It's because it's not installed right there. Alright, pop up there. There we go. It's really nice for me, so you're just getting cozy here. Oh, okay. <laughs> We do try to have a cozy environment here, so if there's anything else I can do to add to that, let me know. Yes. Why is my intro music so loud? Let me reload up it. There we go. Just need to Clean this off a little bit there. Ah! Finally. It's at a state where we could say it's good enough. But the longer I look at this, the worse it's going to get. Art is kind of the same way. At some point you need to learn when to say it's done or you're not going to add more to something or you're going to keep improving and re-improving and restarting something until you're blue in the face. Just like I'm turning blue in the face right now, trying to make sure that this is perfect. Well. It'll never be perfect. As long as it's not like glaring, glaringly hat or something. There we go. Why is my mouth so dry today? Holy shit. And why am I spazzing out again? Come on. Reset back. Come on. You can do it. Please. Ah! Hydrate. It still has a glitch, I see. <laughs> My understanding is that sometimes this form I take is terrifying. Understandably so. There we go. All good. Thank you for the hydrate redeem. Much better. For the finishing, oh shit! So I was saying, for the finishing touch, I'm going to install arms here. Ta-da! <laughs> now, let's get some reference material and we'll be good to go. Uh, what fresh hell is this? There we go. I'm gonna move the chat box over here. Move this over here. Pop into voice chat in case anyone wants to hang out. Uh, which is right around here. Beep boop. Hmm, that's weird. I don't hear any sound or anything. Beep boop. Pop over here. Check voice, uh, check uh, video, voice sounds over here, voice and video. Default, default, default. Default, default. It's weird. 
testing the unique device. Playback should be here. Hmm. Test testing. <laughs> it's just my imagination. I did say I was going to be trying Girls, or Girls Frontline stuff today, didn't I? I should also look for some decent music to play in the background. Oh no. Turn off lulls. There we go. I want to draw some M200. Always a good... Always a good subject matter. Also relatively simple, all things considered. Although, having said that, I will now proceed to struggle, I'm sure. <laughs> If only because I've never drawn M200 before. What music's to play in the background? Hmm. Guess we could always put some more lo fi in the background. <laughs> YouTube, load faster, please. Open up lo fi hip hop here in the background. Beats to relax, study to. Wow, that's really loud. Here we go. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Let's get going. File. Weep shit. Can you use the maximum that I that I can fit on this board? Mm -hmm. Layer one, normal. <laughs> How's my week? Yeah, so so. To kind of adjust my schedule a little bit because I have a family member in the hospital again. So I will be visiting them every uh, evening to keep them company. Mm -hmm. 
busy to me or big to me or big to the north Nothing too big is happening on my end except a we're supposed to have a collab today or tonight at six in the evening Central Standard Time. Not sure if I'll be able to make it anymore, unfortunately, just because of all that's going on. Moving out of the pandemic stuff, then life is kind of returning to normal. So much for the new, so much for the new normal stuff, huh? <laughs> my life apparently oh well <laughs> oh, that's no one. At least I don't think they're anyone. But they sure serve as a good reference for the pose I want to use. Now I just need to quickly... Uh... 
Okay, what's going on now?
Good morning, Gilkanan. How are you this morning? <laughs> Glad you can make it. Try my hands at sketching out uh, some girls front line pen art, which I don't do very often. I'm very out of practice, unfortunately, with regards to just figure drawing. I should probably get, I really need to get back into that. Unfortunately, this means I get really impatient when it comes to drawing figure arts, and instead of wanting to do the very basic stuff that I constantly have to relearn, I try to dive right into uh, poses, which could sometimes be difficult. Like, for instance, if you don't, if you can't do a 3 uh proportion face during the rest of the body, it's probably going to be a pain in the ass, but I will attempt anyway. What's funny is this is supposed to be just a sketch to a sketch of a sketch to plot out basically what I want the, it to eventually look like instead of the bigger one. I haven't used these guideline things in a long time and I kind of feel frustrated having to use them again but sometimes you must return to what you can do before you try to do things that you want to do. And as it is right now, I'm so out of practice that I'm not sure if I could even do a basic head sketch anymore. Which is always such a pain. You gonna be a uni freshman next year? Cool. If that's the case, then where is this point? But if that's uh, then the ear should be over here. 
M200, your head is confusing as hell. <laughs> Very confusing. So I know it should be around here somewhere. And there should be hair here, but then if that's the case, then where is the head over here? Maybe I should. Skipping steps out of frustration always causes trouble. I'm tempted to just dig out my art, old art books and follow them step by step again since I clearly have forgotten the process that you're supposed to go through. And the process involves. Face check circle of life. No idea what a full stack developer is. Like a full stack of pancakes. Bad joke, I know. Who goes there? Thank you so much for the bits, K6. How are you this morning? Kind of spooks me there for a moment, though. Should work a little bit better, I think. I'm not actually very happy with the positioning of the eyes. I feel like if I made them any smaller, any larger, it would take over the whole face. I know, right? 
she uses that giant stick to beat people with. Clearly. Roughly how things should look for you. Problem is, when you're working on such a small scale, it can be such a pain in the ass to block this out, all this stuff out. And this is a ultra small scale compared to. What it will eventually, what uh, the uh, bigger version will look like. Kind of looks like she's pouting, almost. The hair fold is right here. Gear is around here or so. Ow. Threw a peach behind my face. It's not summer yet. up here. Kind of breaking out of lines here, which is problematic. I'll need to fix that later, or just like figure out something to do with that. Huge forehead to a little bit smaller than you could actually. The number of items I get thrown in my face is based directly on how many bits I get, actually. <laughs> so, thanks again for the bits. Oh, Corey, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm actually wearing the comfy costume right now, so I wish I had uh, marked that. So, you pretty much spent your bits for nothing, but I will manually change. My costume so that you don't waste your my your uh, hard-earned bitcoins or not bitcoins but you know the uh, channel points the uh, non-fuckable tokens. Ta-da! Actually, let's use this one. <laughs> Much better. Sure, I could change the kimono one. See? Voila. <laughs> Glad you like it. This was made by a different VTuber for free. Their name is Coco Nadja, I believe. I keep forgetting their names. It's a very unique name. By naming standards. Okay. Koki Najma. 
They are not on Twitch, so instead I will go ahead and link their YouTube account here in case you're interested in checking them out on their work. They also make VRM uh, costumes or costumes for 3D models such as my own. Not sure why I'm experiencing some serious lag right now. <laughs> I mean, the hair remains the same on all three models. <laughs> it just probably just looks different because I'm not wearing glasses in this one. You're welcome. Enjoy. In fact, that's kind of interesting. Why is my avatar lagging a little bit? Strange. Wonder where that lag's coming from, to be honest. Ah! <laughs> Thank you once again for the bits. Unfortunately for you, I do not have TTS set up, so it does not read uh, stuff like that. You know what's funny? Uh, Raid Shadow Legends actually contracts or actually does sponsorships with a lot of YouTubers. I've been to no less than three now. Of VTubers having to shill Raid Shadow Legends for some monies. I've had to install the game like twice now. I would, but this is not a sponsored stream, so I can't. They pay pretty decently for um, the number of subs that they need to get people to join up. Around 300 or so. It could change though. Probably has changed already a few times. Wow, is it really that small? It really is that small. She has really big irises. That's why it's throwing me off. They're usually not that... They're not usually this huge... You will see you sponsored me to write that, huh? Alright. Then this donation was sponsored by, by Meme Shadow Memes. I've never been much of a mobile gamer, but forget everything you think you know about mobile games because Ray are because Meme Shadow Memes is one of the most ambitious meme projects of 2019 and it's just been released and will change everything. Just look at the level of detail of these characters. If you use the code in the description, you can start with 50,000 meme coins and join the special launch tournament. I didn't even know Raid Shadow Memes has a launch tournament. It's a kind of a, it's an auto game, so I can't expect much from, as far as, like the gameplay is concerned. I wonder if Mika of Girls, who created Girls Frontline, would consider doing sponsorship sponsorship deals with VTubers. That'd be cool. I'd totally do one of those, you know. For uh, hopefully obvious reasons. Gotta shift over the hair parting a little bit to. It's actually above the eye. Hmm. So I was wrong. It should be here instead. And this should be here. And it should cover, partially cover the eye over here. It's difficult to draw these sometimes because you need to get the eyes correct or because everything else falls afterwards. If you don't get the proportions of the eyes properly, it's kind of hard to draw everything else that comes afterwards after it. And it kind of gets awkward and scrunched up a little bit.
And this is supposed to be a quick sketch too. The little box insert that you do while you draw everything else in the background.
Did my arms break again? No. There they are. Correct the legs before I continue further. I'm overthinking this, I think. As I tend to do. The legs are fucking me up because she has longer 
legs than most people, proportion wise. Combined with having had with not having had drawn legs normally. So it's really screwing me over at the moment. We're trying to figure out where everything should be proportionally. Looks slightly better. This is so awkward though. Looking at this thing. Like, it's not often that you see a profile of someone sitting down and you only see one leg and not the other. You could see a hint of the other leg on behind the first one, but it doesn't it's so awkward of an image. Very awkward of an image. And the hands. The hands will be another exercise in annoyance.
made difficult more by the fact that the model I'm using for the pose is a man and the character is a small girl, more or less. So everything from the width of their arms, legs, and body thickness is way different. Comes a point where referencing something becomes really difficult for the fact that you can't accurately rely on your reference materials necessarily. You increasingly have to start winging things and that sort of uncertainty makes things a little bit frustrating to draw. Drawing on such a small scale is also starting to fuck me over. This is supposed to be just a sketch of, what, of a larger drawing that I want to work on, but it's obviously not going according to plan. The last one was a little bit... Yeah, I agree. He's way too thick. Too dummy thick. I keep getting confused between using his model and also using this model. But they don't really match because one is a guy and the other is a girl. And their proportions are completely and utterly different. So I'm getting confused as to... I have a better idea. Because I'm a set of masochists, I'm going to try and attempt this one instead. It's going to throw this into the nether somewhere. Just stuff it up there. And you know what, why am I working on such a small scale anyway? Let's go ahead and just get into the meat. To hydrate, redeem. Really needed that. <sighs> my posture is honestly starting to kill me right now. <clears throat> Slouching my chair to improve things, and I think it made it worse. Thank you for the posture recheck and the and the and the. Hydrate redeem. I don't know why, but my mouth is really dry this morning. Like, extremely so. Must be the weather. Or something. Who knows? Here we go, an exercise in drawing the same circle a thousand times until 
one is happy with the circle they've made. Guess they'll have to do for now. I'm gonna quickly blot out things like the neck. Her neck is not that I'm going to quickly decide on the Those arms are horrible. I'm going about this the wrong way. Let's at least get the face right before I move on to the rest of the body. Cart before the horse and all that. Out. Hey, Captain Kype. How are you doing today? <laughs> eh, I'm alright. Could be better, I suppose. What the fuck? drawing some girl trying to draw attempting making an attempt at girls frontline fan art tonight or this morning i should say not tonight it is definitely far and away from evening at the moment So out of practice. I'm afraid of having to have to going back to step one, going back to step one to relearn everything again. Always feels like I have to do that once every few years. Relearn all that you have learned again and again and again and again and again. Kind of like redoing the same class in Duolingo constantly.
that's what happens when you let a skill expire. That's a fairly okay circle, all things considered. I am happy with this circle. The fun part's always drawing the eyes. She kind of has less of a round face and more of a blocky face when I think about it. Your brain doesn't want to register that this is the case because it's um, a lot more accent, uh, accident than I would say most. It's on both sides too. Kind of a triangular face, almost. keep going back to this one because this is actually the original drawing um, that the artist whose name escapes me right now 
but this is the original drawing of M200 that the artist made before submitting it to Girls Frontline to be approved. I'm drawing a blank right now on the artist himself, but using the power of Google, Research, Google Image Re Reverse, we can figure that out really quick. Because they are on Pixit. having said that they will not Google will not give me the Pixiv account because it's probably because Pixiv has blocks in it instead we will have to find this image off of a image search engine and from there grab the artist name although it should pop out Here they are. Now I just need to grab a copy of their Pixiv. Really quick. I took a little bit longer than it should have. Shit, why is my back hurt so much this morning? It's just one problem after another. Ah, here they are. Danger drop. Incidentally, Danger Drop also drew the background image I have on my Twitch channel. Is transform. Here we go. Shell would probably help a little bit more. We're trying to achieve what I'm trying to achieve here. I wish I could like tilt it a little bit to. You can only rotate in set patterns like this. But it'd be nice if I could rotate it a little bit more. 
to get a better feel for where these things are. I think this will probably be fine. I like how messy her hair is, too. Oddly enough, if we were to go back to a reference image, you could still see that the angle of the eyes is downward slightly. Gets, throws things off really which throws things off significantly we're going to do some proportion measuring here
Yeah. The other one was really fucking me up hard, and I just decided to do one that's cons a pose that is considerably closer to what little training I have. Also, had to find a reference image of a woman instead. Trying to go from a guy's pose to a girl's pose just doesn't work. The proportions are way too different. Like to the point of insanity. Is it not going to let me open up two instances of Paint Tool Sign? Uh... I wonder if I could do it with Paint with Paint 3D instead. a thing that's kind of problematic with digital art as opposed to traditional art. I want to just rotate this slightly to the side. I don't need it to be rotated 90 or 80 or 180 degrees. And you can't really do that with a program like that, so you would need to I'm trying, trying to open up another instance of Paint Tool Psy. Hey, Rika. Glad you could make it. Unfortunately, the art to the right is not mine. That's what I'm trying to reference right now. It'd be great if I could draw as well as Danger Drop. How are you this morning? What brings you here today? How's your Saturday been so far? Well, thanks. I appreciate that. 
Uh, the last time I did art on this channel, it was actually a Bob Ross stream. So, felt pretty good about myself for doing some painting. Oh, cool. You a programmer also? We have quite a few in this channel. Not including myself, though. I suck at programming. Oh, not that kind of script? Oh, you're applying to a VTuber group. Dare I ask uh, what VTuber group you're joining? It wouldn't happen to be the Thigh High VT group, would it? Well, good luck on your application, then. Hopefully, that doesn't mean that you have to give up the Rika Mayan uh, identity, but if you do end up having to and you get accepted by them, I wish you best of luck. I'll be sure to follow you on any new social media that you make, or have to make as a process, in the process. Oh, okay. Even better, you get to keep your identity while being part of a larger VTuber group. What made you decide to be part of them in particular? It's a bunny groups. Oh, I see. I see. So they just not they just now open applications to join, I guess. Awesome, awesome. Well, I look forward to hearing of your success then. View. Don't need full screen mode. What we need is to zoom in. Come on. Let let me zoom in. This should not be this difficult. I remember how to doing the how to do this at one. The image off scale offset the image image rotate share image trim the image size convert properties view. It should be in view. I don't know why I didn't think of that beforehand, but okay. There we go. <laughs> don't need this right now. Just need to make these larger. really nice if I could just grab the canvas and just turn it around. I probably want the move tool. Yeah, yeah, I do. I want to be able to just grab this and rotate it slightly to the 10, maybe? So awkward. All right, rotate about five more degrees, please. 
There. Awesome. That's what I need. Needs to be around. Yay. View image. And go. Okay. So. It almost seems a little too straight, actually. It should be slightly bent to the side there. So, view. I'm not sure how I feel about this, to be honest. Because compared to the reference image... Hmm. We'll keep it with this. Oh, that reminds me. We do have Rika, we do have a Discord as well. I see Nightbot is still working on my channel. Some people's versions of Nightbots have been dying lately. Hey Steel! Fancy me seeing you here today. I would- I'll see if I can draw her legs if I can just get the head correct first. Because the head is what will determine the proportion of everything else. Also Rika, uh, feel free to drop a follow. If you haven't already, I'd greatly appreciate it. Welcome once again to the stream. What's that 2018 uh, badge you got on your profile? Owl All Access Pass. Oh! You were in the Overwatch League at one point? Interesting. Uh, so we're presuming that this is, these proportions are correct. I could probably move on to the next stage, but, mm -hmm. <laughs> Who dares? Oh, thank you. I didn't know if you, <laughs> it's fine. That happens a lot. Thank you so much for the follow, Rika. I really appreciate that. It feels like we have our like whole circle of friends where everyone some people just sort of eventually follow when they get get to it, I guess. So it's so it's no problem at all. Um I swear, the way Danger Drop draws the eyes, he has such wide irises, like it will not look like that here. Because I also like how they don't use outlines for anything except for the actual ends of the fa of the like body parts, they prefer much prefer doing the um doing the samurai uh, the uh, samurai jack style where the colors of the objects in the skin are what ends the drawing as opposed to outlining the I I'm not making any sense right now but. <laughs> I digress. Let us carry on, move on and carry on with this. I think that the eyes are in a place right now where I can move, go ahead and go on to the rest of the, drawing the rest of the face, but it's probably because she has such thick, thick eyelashes that throw me off sometimes. We can go ahead and remove the guidelines and start drawing everything else. That'd be great.
thick, thick eye eyes. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a Lupin the Third character or a uh, FLCL character, dude with a, these big ass eyebrows that are like this thick. I should probably make another layer for this though. Layer two. Let's go ahead and I don't like, actually I do not like the, unfuck this nose as well. I just got your nose. Your nose is a lot bigger than the peers. Drying our legs are actually is actually a lot more difficult than it may appear because they're so freakishly long and so thin. I mean, she has better proportions than some girls front lines characters, but still. Where's our hair parting around? Uh, here, right? If we were to draw a line down here, it's with the. A little bit over where the eyes over here stop. So it's here. critical error somewhere no I have not not yet anyway I'm going to save it also the hair is always larger than the head than the original head circle even if it's by a little bit so I'm gonna draw that there I'm going to draw her a hoge up here really quick that's a really fat Ahoge. Ah! No! Thank you. That was a terrible move on my part. I will just simply imagine if I was... There's a cockroach VTuber? <laughs> 
this I was definitely not aware of. Hmm. There's a VTuber for everything, you know. I remember... I think one of the most unique I've seen, actually I've seen a lot of unique VTubers in Bird Sight for a while, for a little bit, but among the most unique I've seen have been an Isekai van, a literal Italian flag, um, who's been anthropomorphized, obviously, and a VTuber, like, layout, sentient layout. A whole ass cockroach? <laughs> At this point, you're gonna be a weed cat VTuber. 420 Blaze It. I'd watch that. Not gonna lie. Uh, you know, I haven't heard from the Overlay VTuber in a while. They're kind of stuck in that state where they got a lot of, like, notoriety. Oh, not notoriety, but they got a lot of, um, views, viewership, and popularity on Twitter, but they kept pushing back their debut date, so I'm not even sure if they ever actually started. But that seems to happen to a lot of VTubers. Your brother wants to become or make a beholder or draw a beholder? Sorry, I feel like I lost half the conversation there. Oh, become a Beholder VTuber? There might actually be a Beholder VTuber, but I, I cannot think of any right now. That would be a unique concept. If he decides to do a lot of D&D streaming, which a lot of VTubers do, that would also work out fairly well, all things considered. Come on, that's that's a little it shouldn't look like that. It should be more like this instead. So messy.
Um, I don't know. If they do play a lot of fantasy stuff, it would work out pretty well, too. Just because you're a certain, like, kind of YouTuber doesn't necessarily mean you have to play or do a certain kind of thing. I mean, I'm supposed to be a cyberpunk-ish VTuber, and you don't see me playing that many cyberpunk games, even though most of the stuff I do play tends to be science fiction related. At the same time, I didn't want to make such a specific VTuber that I get associated with only a certain sort of thing. Doolahan, do you need some love? The closest I've seen to a Doolahan VTuber so far is a sentient book. They're like, they're basically a book with a giant eye in the middle that's like floating and accursed while they have, a dis they have no neck and the rest of the body. So, not quite Doolahan, but um, their head's been replaced by a book. Or maybe they're like a sentient book, I suppose? A book VTuber. I remember before I started getting into VTubing, people used to lament the so-called lack of variety in VTubers, and when I joined the VTuber community, I thought like, man, there's a lot, there's a shit ton of variety here. Don't know what you got, where you guys have been looking, but... Like, I guess there are some VTubers, there are some people who still think that VTubers are all basically uh, minors pretending to be idols who have really screechy voice screechy like shallow voices and honestly i feel like the grand majority of people don't do the idol aesthetic at least as far as i've seen so far even among the ones that do um i would say they only are idols and name only like i've been following this colacanth vtuber who started up a couple months ago and she kind of had an, on first glance she has all the trappings of like your typical VTuber a la Hololive and whatnot, but then you watch your streams and see how to interact with fans on Twitter and they're very shitposty. <laughs> um, their personality does not match the way they look, basically. It's very refreshing. They're a very fun person. Uh, not Koa. Let me see if I could find them really quick. Or maybe it, they are Koa, and I'm just thinking, or and I just don't know their first name. One second. Uh, Cola can be tuber. They are very specifically a Cola can. Ah, I don't know why I didn't remember their name. Deep Sea Sonata, or Sonata for short, I should say. She is a shit poster supreme. Which is not the first thing you would think of upon seeing her model. But very cheap person inside and out. Very funny, or very fun to watch. They also use any pronouns, so they... I wouldn't say that they're gender ambiguous, but then again, I'm supposed to be gender ambiguous too, and my initial model was very feminine looking. Hey Ace! Deep Sea Sonata is a shit is a ship posting queen. <laughs> Which is not what one would expect. Uh, one would have expected her to be a idol class and idolish uh VTuber. Why? This should be one of the easier parts of the uh, hairstyle. I wonder why I'm having trouble with that. Maybe I'm just thinking about it too. You know what? Yeah, I'm thinking about it too much. Sometimes you really do need to turn off your brain when drawing. Just fucking... Just fucking do it! Just do it! Just gotta do it! There. Fuck. Why did it take so long to draw this part? 
you draw, you block out very simple shapes, like a like a trapezoid right here, and then you chop off the parts to make them thinner, more hair-like. You don't fucking sometimes drawing all the drawing all the pieces individually. Drawing all the pieces of hair individually will drive you insane. It's so much easier to just to just fucking yeah. You know, I'm making it worse now, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? Later. Oh my god. And of course this is kind of a mess again. I don't know why I'm trying to draw these individual pieces either. You should be focus. I should be focusing on getting overall hair in, and you could do that stuff in post. If there is a post, I still haven't finished that MP5 uh, art that I was doing the other day, sadly. No thoughts, head empty. No thoughts, head empty. Or thoughts, for that matter. Or thoughts, for that matter. Shit. Is she? That's not how. That's not how hair looks. <laughs> Thank God for layers, honestly. No thoughts. Bed empty. better. She's starting to look like a person now. Or in dangerous of looking like a person. No thoughts, bed empty. Sad face. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Alright, so we got the hair in. Now, shall we, at or mostly got the hair in, shall we make an attempt, make a go, a go at the body? Sure, whatever. This is the part where it gets kind of difficult. Just a little bit, you know? Good. 
two of the been a while since they drawn a body too. Space on my desktop is at such a premium right now. Like, good lord. Okay. I'm gonna move you up here. This won't be so bad. Sharp. No, sharp. I see. Ah! Drop my pen there. Hmm. Thank you. 
wish that sweater wasn't in the way. It's hard to tell what's going on in that photo. What might be messing me up is MT Hunter doesn't really have kind of has slouchy shoulders. They're not very well defined compared to this woman's. So it can be difficult to try and draw what she might not have, which is also part of the problem with trying to use several different images for referencing. What you would like to do, what you could do is get images that are roughly similar to each other to reference because if they're too different we're going to run into the same issue like we did earlier today with the trying to draw the pose of the man along with M200 because it just doesn't work they're way too different And yet, when I look at the other image, it looks like their shoulders are slightly raised. I'm not entirely sure if that's just me or if that's... Maybe the curve, this one.
we are not going to open this one <laughs> for hopefully obvious reasons, but looking at this image, trying to get an idea of where the shoulders are in comparison to the collarbones. I think also that this is screwing me up a little bit here. Uh, here we go. Don't get your hopes up, Steel. We are not opening that in stream. I'm trying to figure out why. I mean, I'm almost wondering if maybe what I did wrong is making the shoulders too wide. Hey, Recoil. Good morning. I think this is the first time you've ever been visiting one of my streams, is it? If I, if, but yeah, it says your first time chat for viewer. How you doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. You're editing? It sounds to me like you're improving, then, if that's the case. Just chilling, huh? Well, this is a nice day for chilling. It is Saturday morning. The weather is... Or at least where I live is a bit cold outside for spring. And I decided to pull out the drawing tablet. It's very slow going on my end, unfortunately, because I am extremely out of practice and have a perfectionism issue or issue with perfectionism. And I always feel like I have to relearn all that I've learned at one, at one point in my life or another. At this point, I must have relearned how to draw like several times. Proportions always fuck me up. What I always wanted to do, I have a lot of... You know how to edit, you're just really lazy and how that's a mood. I totally know how that feels. I'm also going to go ahead and... Yep. Chill our Discord again and chat for anyone who would like to visit you gotta edit five minutes you're doing text tracking and everything right now oh I see I see That's not M200, that's R15. It's... This one has a more of the angle I was going for, except in reverse. Oh shit, it's not letting me open it. It's on Reddit, of course. Who the fuck, who, why am I not surprised? So this is the thing, except in their other. Am I wrong? Is it is it up here looking like that because of the? If I, this doesn't look like it's from taking it at an angle. The shoulders are roughly the same width. I'm fairly sure this is a photo taken of her directly at the front, and that she just happens to have her sh one shoulder raised higher than the other. The other, it's which. This is not the case with this one. This one is clearly an angle. This is clearly three-fourths angle of her body, and her shoulder. This shoulder is definitely closer to the viewer than this one. Ah! Ah, oh, yari yari daze. Just realized something. So line here and 
Oh no. No, 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 no. These cannot be parallel. This has got to either be perfectly horizontal and this one. Ah! Uh, my life sometimes. Better put this to strict just in case. Just in case, you know. I don't think we'll be running into any ludes on this image search, but you can never be too sure, honestly. She is? You can tell? I could not tell. Is that why the proportions are fucking me over right now? I mean, I'm trying to, it's just that she has really wide shoulders compared to M200. And also she has this sort of, um, she has this, uh, I don't know what you call that. Tur it's not a turtleneck, is it? Is this what you call it? I guess this is a turtleneck sweater. Uh, covering her neck and also... I'm losing my terminology right now, but basically this whole section where my tie is. And that's kind of important. So I'm trying to use this. Okay, in, re in real life, so like that. Okay, fine. Um... Okay. <clears throat> She's slightly leaning. Let me just force my legs into an Indian style here really quick. And, oh, fuck my life. Yeah, you can't naturally make that pose with your arms unless you were leaning forward slightly. <laughs> but it still looks like her right shoulder is higher than her left. Okay, so you can't. I am not that flexible, unfortunately. Monkey arms. Now that's a mood. I got really thin arms myself. My arms actually look fairly similar to M200s as far as just being super thin are concerned. I also got the really spidery fingers. My legs don't look anything like that, though. Let's see... What was I doing? Um... So... I think I got the basic proportion. I think I got the basic. Pro I don't. I don't know. This looks kind of sus to me still. Do not like. But. Might as well try to draw the rest of the body now. Maybe I should not draw the coat anymore and should just draw the shirt. That would be a nice compromise, maybe. The shirt is fairly simple. She's just wearing a uh, white polo, more or less. Very simple. This one, she's slouching backwards. So... A bit concerned that I'm gonna fuck something up in the process here as well. A 
will merely have to hope that that is not the case. I can't believe it's 10.44 already. How much more can I get done in 15 minutes? I should at least plot out... Uh... General body proportions. Like, where would her... Elbows would be the parting where her armpit is should be around here. I should probably decide where her waist is first, right? Her head goes into her body about... Her waist is around... Let's see. Probably around here or so. And her head goes into her body around... One, two, around two times? Switch me around two times. She has really small proportions. So that would be about one. So let me do this again one more time. One. Two. So that'd be about that. One. Two. Just right around. One. Two. Okay. And three. Ah! Thank you for the Hydra Beauty Monarch. Ah! Twice in one row? Are you trying to drown me? Don't answer that question. Zoom, 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 zoom. So that's about one third. One, two. A little less than a third. One, two, three, so maybe around here somewhere. Oh shit, I lost it. It's right around here, right? I wish I had like a ruler or something. Like an actual ruler. We're gonna be super scuffed here. I'm gonna use a credit card. Thanks for keeping me fresh. I much appreciate it.
One, two. Ah, what do you know? That's about right. So this is not really where her waist is. Her waist is probably a little bit higher than that. I'm just guesstimating because I'm not looking up a new version of M200 just to draw a sketch. <laughs> but I'm uh, guessing it's uh, right around there or something. More or less. And if this is where her waist is, more or less. I want to guess that her shirt probably goes a little bit past her waist. Not what that's gonna, what the shirt's gonna look like when it's scrunched up. Unfortunately, when you're sitting down like this, it's never that perfect. But we'll go ahead and cut off, cut off the body around here. So, she's fairly thin, very uniform as as far as body proportions go, though. Ah, oh, man. Self-consciousness is getting really intense right now. I guess that's not what the body looks like at all. Obviously. <laughs> You say that, but it's taking everything. Uh, it take it's taking everything to not rage delete this right now, which I guess is true of just about pretty much all art forms. I always tell people that I'm tutoring or helping with writing that you must resist every urge that you have to delete your work and to backspace. If you the problem because most people never complete anything, any like form of writing because they constantly self-delete their works. Well, I found that the same is true of a lot of other art forms, especially visual. You need to overcome the disgust you feel, the uh, disgust you feel at what you're working on. First off, Unless it's like spectacularly bad, and I'm talking like grade school level, um, there will always be, I would even say the majority of people are not going to be on any level of art prowess as yourself. So if you, if you even know the basics of something, you already do better 
than a lot of people, and a lot of people will look at that, so look at what you consider low skill, and think, wow, you're pretty good, even though internally you're thinking to yourself, no, I'm garbage. And that happens a lot too when you have to com when you compare yourself with other artists who some of whom probably have years and years of experience over you which is also why it's sometimes difficult to use reference drawings to do these things because you're seeing yourself like Ugh, it's not good enough at the same time like I have no idea how much experience this person must have had compared to this person, compared to this person. Actually, between you and me, I can kind of tell that this person does not have as much experience as this person, but anyway, um, compared to the original artists here, who, if you look at their work, they kind of make advertisements and do professional art for a job. Like, this is clearly not their hobby this is like their career for them it's also why the gun and the clothes and the bag are almost hyper realistic but you'll notice in all of their works they have a very abstract approach even amongst manga and anime artists to facial expressions and everything even the eyes always felt like an afterthought to me they're very blurry they're very um simple even by like other standards i suppose they're not as well defined this one also has a very simplistic art style very uh, a lot of usage here instead on simpler forms i guess and you got this over here which is very you get what I'm saying? The focus is different, I guess. But at the same time, gosh, it is it is hard to start, I guess. Am I really going up to draw a sitting in Indian style pose? Oh my fucking god. It's gonna be nuts. I shall make an attempt. Why do I do this to myself?
leg, to be honest. How do I into hands? Almost her hands are constantly covered by gar by crap. Because other artists do not like drawing her with hands. <laughs> People just do not like to draw hand or M200's hands. They're usually gone or obscured in most of the art that you see. <laughs> yeah, it's almost as tall as she is, actually. In real life, it's not nearly that tall. I think she's just short. Everyone always hides the hands there are no hand there are no hands of m200 there are hand except right there but they are so tiny so tiny good god they are tiny <laughs> Tiny hands. I mean, it makes sense. Most people are like, I'd rather just not have to deal with them at all. Yeah, the shiki can the shiki can is pretty cool, or can be pretty cool, I should say. <laughs> Not sure about perfect. A perfect one probably would not allow themselves to be seen in the mirror. That's true. He does have the haircut.
have a stump for a hand until I can get that worked out. Thirty inch barrel. How do you know the exact size the exact size of her barrel? Why don't you tell the class, Steel? Do you know something we don't? You, I didn't realize that M200 that Intervention has a OnlyFans. What'd she do? Post uh, guitar songs on there?
terrible tie. I have to go back later and replace that tie. Meanwhile, though, eh, I don't like it. Only firearms. <laughs> you always know the good shit. I know where the good shit is. Very scuffed clothing. Uh, I don't have much to say. I'm kind of at the end of the stream already. It's going a little bit longer before to clean up the clothes to at least add semblance of clothes. And then I'm probably gonna go grab lunch and then go. Uh, hang out with my hospitalized grandmother for the next several hours or so. Just a little bit frustrated with my progress, or lack thereof. But what can you expect when you don't draw for like, years sometimes? Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. She probably will, but she's kind of hard-headed. Doesn't take care of herself like she should. I've been in and out of the ho same hospital for, like, the past three or four years. So much. I've been in and out of this hospital so much that I pretty much can know my way around everywhere. <laughs> she's doing a lot better now. And thankfully, she has Medicaid, which takes care of, like, 90% of the bills. So the financial cost is not that bad, but at the same time, it's frustrating uh, seeing her constantly have to go back in, you know? Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful that she is fine, but it's still... I don't know. Hey, Winter! Thank you for coming! I'm sorry to say you came in kind of at the end of the stream, but I always appreciate you showing up. You showed up in time to see me uh, sketch out this really scuffed um, depiction of... M200 using uh, quite a few references here despite how I feel about this art I will of course be sure to post this sketchiness in the discord and also on Twitter <clears throat> oh Wi-Fi is struggling I'm sorry to hear that I guess we could stop here for now. As I said, I need to grab lunch and then go to visit with my grandmother for a while. I have a collab tonight in around seven hours from now, or I'm supposed to, but I'm not sure if I'm going to even be able to go to it at this point because I have to hang out with grandmother, as I said before. But we'll see. Let's go ahead and save this in the meanwhile.
Okay. I'm glad to hear or glad to hear it. If you for those of you for those of you watching, if you haven't yet, I would really appreciate if you dropped a follow. Uh we don't have YouTube, so I'm not gonna bother going on about liking, subscribing, but follows are always appreciated. Because of my situation at in the meat space world, I don't think that I'll be streaming at the usual hours because during that, those time periods, I'll usually have to be in the hospital. I'll be posting a new schedule later this weekend of when I'll be streaming. It's probably gonna be a little bit later in the evening, unfortunately. Back to my uh, original hours instead of like five to eight it might be something like nine to twelve and nine or nine to midnight or something we'll see uh thank you very much for coming today and we should probably see who can be rated today who is streaming right now surprisingly there's not that many people on this morning do most people just sleep in? Or... Tamaris Morgan is streaming, is a far better artist than I am. They're streaming fairly early this morning. Cloud Caffeine is also streaming. They also are doing some art. Maximilian's playing an RTS game. Trua is playing something called Let It Die. Never heard of that before. The bigger tubers like Kozla Tsunami is playing Gardic Bell. Let's see if we can find a, another newbie tuber to a newbie view tuber to uh, raid. One second, please. Browse. Live channels. Sort and filter via low to high search all tags put in VTuber where's the VTuber tab? there it is oh, so Nickel Bunny is actually starting fairly soon Premier Azure Xera to Cat Bloodstained Witch of the Night, huh? Don't see many people playing that. This guy's a literal gnome. That's funny. Eh. Might as well go from... Might as well go from one art stream to another, right? Cloud Caffeine's already finished. Let's try refreshing. Who else we got going on? Tamaris Morgan it is. Thanks for coming everyone. Let's use the following ray message. Let's use one of our animated ones. Actually, let's lose those feels this time. And here we go. Huh, six viewers today, unexpected. 
thank you once again, everyone, for coming. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. Oh, oops, did you need to raise someone else, my friend?